Yeah, welcome for our first lecture. Welcome, Felix Wächter. Um, Felix, we had a wonderful journey to South Germany, and uh, we learned how nice South Germany can be. And our project is in Bavaria, in the Nantesburg, which is south of Munich. And the title is Nature and Art and Landscape and, and Building a Kind of Small um, Campus for Artists, but also for people working with agriculture and those actually somehow um, update themselves. And uh, tomorrow you will be part of our critic, so we will see the first sketches of our four teams. And therefore, today um, we can relax a little bit and you have your work. And um, so I will give you some small facts about Felix, because he has quite an exciting vita. He um, studied in Schutta, South Germany. And after he did his diploma, he also moved to Harvard. So he also experienced education um, of Harvard, Ivy League. University, um, which I know also quite good, and that is a good change. I've been working in German, or studying in a German university, and then moving to Harvard. Maybe our students have tomorrow also some questions to you about Harvard, which offers quite interesting um, projects. Um, after Harvard, you, you opened up your studio with your wife, Wächter and Wächter. And um, then, after getting to know reality, you did a little bit of teaching in Boston, and since 2016 you are a prof and you lecture in Darmstadt, which is not far away from Stuttgart, a very um, famous university, and I know many people who uh, teach there before. So that is a good a career. And, um, you, you, of course, got a lot of prizes. Maybe I will mention two very famous ones. This is one of the Petrus Gemeinde Wieslock, which maybe we will see. And this is the expansion of the theater of Heidelberg, which is also a wonderful city. Most of you know this nice city situated at the river Neckar, and this is big castle, so very impressive city. So, Felix is here. We are very excited to get to hear your lecture. And um, after your lecture, we have a small discussion, but you can, of course, continue um, the discussion at our bar with a glass of wine. Thank you very much for coming. Although the, the time is not easy for you with Corona and traveling, uh, we really appreciate that very much. Thank you. So, thank you, Nicolas, for the nice introduction, and I'm really looking forward to see your projects tomorrow. Uh, in fact, I, I, I like uh, the project you uh, you gave them, and perhaps it's it's one of the results um, of this um, problem we have nowadays to look uh, closer uh, to the outside of the city because the city is part of the problem we have, so perhaps it's um, also a result that we have to um, rethink the city and rethink the uh, landscape and the rural area. Um, yeah, um, now I need my glasses. Um, good evening, first of all. Uh, and um, I love to follow um, um, your invitation because um, lectures of this kind are occasions for us to uh, withdraw from the work, to look back, like Betty, that's uh, Gerhard Richter, Gerhard Richter's Betty. Um, so to look back uh, what we do and uh, to understand and to reflect why we do it, what we do. And, um, 
and um, I'm not very used to a lecture in English, so please excuse when I look a little closer to my notes uh, this uh, tonight. Building with wood, material and idea, that's the title of this, my, my thoughts of this evening. Um, even if it's not Thursday today, um, in the discourse, in the debate on climate change, we need to think about building, about architecture and how to build. First, very simple, beauty is sustainable. Nobody wants to tear down good art for architecture. And typology, which allows multiple uses, is sustainable too. In a society that is determined by change, we need buildings which allow different uses, like here Andrea Palladius Palazzi. But, but yes, we have also to think about the so-called, what we call at least, the grey energy. I don't know if it's an international expression, but... Um, so less about the largely optimized energy consumption of buildings, um, but the energy or the energy requirement that we need for the production of material, the mounting, and ultimately in a fast-changing society, also about the energy for the disposal um, after uh, the demolition. Um, looking on the grey energy, the construction, uh, that's what we call Wobau, uh, the construction takes the biggest parts with more than 50% um, and uh, the facade only 40%. Um, so, building with wood is probably the most efficient method to avoid dioxide em emissions uh, because the material wood is in contrast to the other building materials, concrete or steel, um, produced by CO2, water and light and releases even oxygen and can be reused um, cascade-like uh, shown on this picture on the on the right hand. I don't know the numbers, the statistics in your countries, but in Germany, only 16.1 percent of the housing um, on the left hand and 16.9 percent uh, of the non-residential buildings uh, are built in wood a far too small proportion, especially considering that up to industrialization uh, in the 19th century, the building material wood is the dominant uh, material um, and wood construction is the traditional way of building from which almost everything is made of, from the simplest equipment, temporary structures up to even bridge cons uh, constructions. The other way around, it is uh, the principle of timber construction that are transmitted in the designs of um, exemplary here on the right hand side. Um, you know that the Greek temple where the wood detail are, um, are reproduced um, in stone with a lot of effort. Um, but within a, a few decades, um, the uh, wood market falls down and um, in contrast to the general um, economic uh, development from nearly 80% uh, of the uh, wood construction until 30% and nowadays, as I said, uh, it's uh, half the gain until today. And this is difficult to understand because the possibility of prefabrication, here the carpenter um, um, and um, on the joinery place splitting the trunk, sawing and cutting to length to the required dimension and the linear structure are the essential elements of uh, modern movement um, where uh, with the 
pure concrete material, the linear shape of the wood is reproduced for a skeleton structure to dissolve the supporting and spatial structure, enable flexible floor plans and facade design. Here, Domino House of um, Le Corbusier. So, thinking about CO2 neutral buildings, um, we need um, to use the domestic um, resource wood and we need to learn that the old building material wood of the original Utahs described by Vitruv is or will be uh, the, uh, the building material of the future. We believe that the potential in timber construction with regard to new wood materials and to new production po possibilities is not yet being uh, discovered. But um, beside the question of uh, sustainability, uh, we are also interested in the wood construction in our search for an idea or for a logic that tells us what the project has to be like. Because wood construction forces to a strong grammar which, from which everything um, develops. Um, we are interested in the coherence, the unity of content and form, the serious connection um, between or the serious relationship between the layers, between the supporting structure and it, its wrapping between the construction and the interior, so that the interior is not declining into a moody, fashionable uh, staffage, illustrated by this marble stator with its coat, oops, uh, with its coat um, um, as the wrapping. Um, the drap reveals the physiognomy of the wearer and the, um, oops, um, kind of, uh, and the physiognomy of the um, wearer is still discreetly readable. And we are interested in the material that um, like a flatterer seduces, wants to be touched, smells, breathes, and tells us a story of growth and the patina, um, the story of use. Um, this is important for us because the visual dominance nowadays, the privilege of the sense of seeing over the other senses, reduces the perception in its wealth, its uh, imagination, and thus leads uh, to a st strangely unemotional but bloodless architecture. But architecture, the built space, is perceived with all five senses, represented in this uh, painting by Hans Markert in touching, hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting. We locate temperate places on the skin the cool and refreshing shade or the warmth of a spot of sun. See with a feeling eye, feel with a seeing hand. That's Wolfgang von Goethe, and you need to hear Goethe in every German lecture. So, um, if you come from up road at least. Um, only when he puts his finger in, in the side, only when he feels with his finger, he believes what he sees. The Apostle Thomas painted by uh, Caravaggio uh, with his eyes wide open needs to feel um, to, in order to believe. And Magritte's couple even laugh without seeing. Uh, with the reduction of perception to the visible, we lose a sense of tactility. The human sizes for things and the understanding for the care for details um, that are made for the human body. Architectural structures are then reduced to a scenography, to a stage design for the eye. In the following wing, I will present you four projects. 
and I start with the Academy for International Cooperation in Bonn, so in the middle of Germany. And here federal employees um, are prepared for their work in emerging, uh, emerging countries with uh, language courses and the teaching of uh, regional culture. In the competition, um, the given a didactic concept based on a learning landscape for self-controlled learning processes as well as uh, seminar rooms especially for learning language skills and uh, and the media library um, and the learning concept uh, follows the discussion we are um, currently taking up in school buildings with the questions how uh, do we learn recognizing that frontal teaching um, does not correspond um, to the different learning speeds of kids or students, especially in an increasingly heterogeneous uh, society. And um, that in a world where you can get any information everywhere, every time, we recognize that we need to teach skills, um, then um, better skills, than um, knowledge. So we were looking for an architectural uh, language um, for this learning landscapes, which uh, expresses um, the restlessness of uh, learning, the searching, the, the reflecting, the curiosity, uh, looking in all directions. But beside that, um, everything um, disciplined and with a systematic um, order. Um, the site uh, we had to work on is, is this site um, um, at the edge of um, this um, forest. Uh, it's the so-called um, cotton forest. Um, um, and the, the, the site offers ideal conditions for the learning landscape, uh, calmness, concentration, but also uh, openness. Um, and adjacent uh, here, this uh, adjacent, um, there had been already existing an existing seminar building of the so-called Andreas Hermes Academy, with its uh, very characterful um, uh, roofs drawn far down. Um, and this academy had been renovated and converted into a, a seminar and residential building parallel to our um, project. Um, the freestanding um, multi turret structure is uh, intended to express this diversity um, and order in a lively manner. The floor plan here, the upper floor, um, um, is designed like a, a net, a modular learning landscape, an open communications zone in um, two rings, two rings which are placed around two inner um, courtyards. Um, for the learning alone or in smaller groups um, with insights into some seminar rooms, um, but also outside um, into in all direction into the wonderful um, language uh, landscape. Um, for that, the areas can be used as open learning zones without any corridors and um, without any fire protection regulations. The building is um, is divided into five units with about um, 400 square meters. Um, the plan is transferred into a a net-like structure of a filigrant skeleton. Um, as I mentioned before, thinking about sustainability means always to think about different uses. And we therefore developed a structure that can be adapting uh, for to changing requirements at any time. The diagram shows different um, different possibility, uh, possible subdivisions um, as an example. Uh, we were looking for friendly, for light and diverse atmosphere, which is needed, in our opinion, for relaxed learning and teaching. 
to illuminate the deep um, upper uh, the deep uh, room zones the roof uh, on the on the upper floor is um, is raised um, is unfolded pyramid like um, the basic um, element consists of a two story grid here one story second story or oh, other way um, uh, with a ceiling supported by the beams that's the ceiling and um, uh, with a statically effective um, um, cladding on the bottom and on the top um, to reduce the construction height so that uh, you have a stiff very stable box constructed and for the reason of transport the ceiling had been uh, di divided by uh, uh, through in, into three parts. So the grid is 5 meter 25 times 5 meter 25. Um, analog the pyramid shaped unfolded roofs with a, uh, again with a um, um, ceiling with uh, the bottom and the top uh, cladding um, and um, in the edge there's a very thin uh, steel uh, tube um, to support um, the highest point. These ceilings are arranged like a chessboard, uh, so always in different directions, alternating directions, um, so that the beams of the grid are always fully uh, utilized. Um, the cross-shaped columns enable easy connections of all elements and to integrate the diverse media, especially rainwater, um, and for that um, one of the these parts is um, removable. Um, concrete slabs, these here, they are put onto this um, wood ceiling. Um, the, these slabs are normally used on walkways. Um, they replace them on the ceiling elements to ensure sound insulation in between the two stories. Um, uh, as in between the ground and the upper floors and um, within the raised floor here um, we had um, um, all the installation they are managed there um, and um, uh, on top of this raised floor we have the heating um, and we use the seating also for the cooling and in this raised floor we put all this what you need to bring in there the the air which we couldn't bring into the raised um, roof. Um, so um, th these are integrated here. The sustainability of the building is proven by the so-called DGNB uh, certificate in, in gold, uh, which includes an energy concept with a geothermal field as a seasonal pendulum storage uh, operating in winter um, as a heat source and in summer as a, a cold source. Uh, before the start of production, um, the commission um, carpentry um, previous built a mock-up of one of the modules um, for the construction, but also um, to test the mounting concept and to check the uh, uh, surface qualities as well as to optimize um, all the joints and here again one of the ceiling uh, elements um, they are individually um, perforated according to our plans um, this used to be unaffordable but um, with the technical improvement it's um, nearly uh, uh, for free to drill all these um, all these holes and the mineral wool is laid into the uh, elements for acoustic. In timber construction, transport and assembly must be considered at the, um, at the beginning of, of the design um, project. You have to think of that all the time. And in particular, uh, the weather protection um, of the wooden components. Um, for the weather protection re reasons, the mounting is not horizontal, uh, like uh, we do that in concrete structure, but always vertically. Here you see the, uh, so this is the concrete um, uh, staircases, and then you see the 
process it's always vertical always a two story high and then um, it uh, somehow gets um, uh, done the mounting of the elements uh, here the ceiling um, over the ground floor was done in a, a lego um, like process um, with the roof elements previously sealed um, on the floor and um, because of the high precision all windows elements by example could be prefect fabricated and installed uh, step by step um, the supporting structure again the physiognomy of the skeleton can be felt everywhere the connection between the supporting structure and its wrapping between the shell and its interior think again to the marble stadium um, is uh, is still there so that the interior is not a result uh, in a moody composition um, or in a fashionable uh, staffage uh, the tent like roofs allow to lighten the deep uh, rooms uh, and opens the view in the sky to inspire the ideas to um, the bright but also sheltering atmosphere correspondence um, to the self-image of an open house and um, the need for communication on the one hand but also um, the need of contemplation on the other side uh, with a low height and a pavilion like a character the building nestles well in between the surrounding um, of the existing buildings the housing neighborhoods um, and um, the landscape and it interlocks with the landscape and appears small in a scale due to the stepped or to the to the folded uh, facade consistently everything follows an idea the logic of the concept without anything being added and without anything which may be removed content and idea form structure and design um, are one number two um, looking on the second project um, and you mentioned it before nikolaus an evangelical community center situated in wiesloch south of heidelberg i would like to uh, discuss the role of uh, detail uh, in architecture in in a whole made up of parts that are a whole um, the detail gives orientation scale hierarchy and uh, demand and enables a close-up view not a view from distance so these parts these details are not irrelevant um, because the parts determine the whole for a coherent picture the detail of the uh, shirt collar needs to fit to the uh, or needs to match um, the cut the column is part of the whole of a shirt thereby specifying the expression of appearance and thus also the appropriateness and um, also the social context and uh, the bottom has to fit to the collar and to the cut in material color size shape profile the detail of the bottom is derived from the whole and yet the bottom needs to subordinate and not become a design element by itself um, and similar the seam that holds the individual individual parts together and how it is made is also derived from the whole um, in ornament and um, and crime out of Lowe's demands a form of aestheticism he demands the overcoming of the ornament the ornament as something that is not attached to the material but this does not mean to give up the detail if architecture remains without the detail then it remains pale 
the t senses are not addressed. So the detail is not a small thing, like the word may be expressed, and yet it must not develop a life of its own, but must fit into the whole. Um, the common space in this project, um, uh, which had been asked for in the competition uh, um, process of this uh, evangelical uh, community center, is placed in the middle, uh, close uh, to the uh, to an interior courtyard um, as the as the central heart um, and as central organizing element with. Um, um, uh, around this um, existing tree um, and detached um, like a cloister, perhaps um, detached there on the right hand there are the so-called uh, group rooms and on the uh, left administration rooms and storage rooms in the in the back and here down here um, um, larger entrance foyer that opens into the street like um, a window. Um, with diverse views in a, in and over the courtyard enable easy uh, orientation um, and like a wooden instrument the central room is detached and from the heavy base made out um, of exposed masonry and um, concrete. So in this very heterogeneous context uh, of this little village um, this ring-shaped figure is, um, um, mediates in, in between the various scales and heights of the uh, neighbors. And the um, logic of the wooden structure um, unfold its spatial atmosphere and poesy um, and um, its details and junctions tell the idea, the story of the making and demand and enable um, a close view. Um, so a hold made up of parts that are um, a whole. The outside view, again this uh, central room is visible from far away to manifest um, that the community, um, the getting together is um, central for this um, for this building uh, use. Number three, the third project, um, an assessment center in Neuwied, um, so in between Bonn and Frankfurt uh, somewhere, um, on a, close to the Rhine in fact. Um, so the, it's an assessment center and I want to show you this project as another example um, for a project that is developed from a um, very simple single module, um, but in this case the module isn't re really visible in, in the first. Um, here in this assessment center, young people with mental and uh, physical disabilities are tested and prepared to integrate them into the job market. Um, on the rather tight ground, so this is the um, site uh, we, which we had. Um, on this very tight property, the floor plan structure is turned diagonally um, with respect to the neighbor buildings, um, um, with somehow um, back and forth stepping um, facade, which creates an architectural attraction with high identification and uh, the possibility to be recognized. Um, in this rather faceless environment, um, you see this um, plan and you can imagine this are uh, more or less housing areas, but then there are big structures, um, a little fabric and a supermarket and an auto, a car repair shop. So um, the small scale structure of the two floors fits very well into this heterogeneous context. Um, and it, it enables a scale that can be experience, experienced and um, also by people with uh, cognitive disabilities. 
Um, the potential in timber constructions um, is to integrate systems, system which we have to uh, add in different layers in solid uh, constructions. Um, a good understanding, a very good acoustic is uh, an essential requirement for any learning rooms. Therefore, the ceilings we developed um, already in Bonn, the first project I showed to you, they are static and acoustic element in one. And um, we took this over um, and we de developed a basic element and the starting point uh, was this uh, wood um, we call it wood, wool, light, white panels, um, so um, Holzwolle Leichtbauplatte with their very good uh, acoustic qualities, which is and doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, and um, uh, we used this as a lost um, uh, formwork for the, um, for the concrete um, we put onto the uh, ceiling. The composite uh, concrete here put on this um, uh, panels um, and provides the necessary uh, sound insulation which means the separation uh, in between the, the two different floors. Um, but it's also aesthetically effective unlike um, the concrete pavement slabs which we used in Bonn and in Bonn we, we after the project we thought well this is a little crazy we put these pavement slabs on uh, on the ceilings and they lay, lay there lazy and has has nothing to do than uh, the insulation so um, that's why we thought of using this mass also for uh, statically and um, it's also good for the climate so the climate in the wood construction you know that is difficult that it doesn't change too quickly so um, from this construction idea we developed uh, the module um, of these ceilings 3.20 uh, 3 times 3, uh, 6.40 uh, meter uh, with a frame uh, 12 times uh, 52 centimeters high and the in this frame uh, slats these slats are hung um, in a very uh, in a grid of 30 centimeters uh, onto the slabs um, they support the these light white wood um, panels and um, they serve as lost formwork for the concrete we put on so um, and the screws um, they um, as, um, secure the uh, connections um, these elements assembled from the single parts are put together into a hole on two levels and form this quite bizarre figure um, with uh, the working rooms um, on a ring and um, in the uh, middle there's an interior hall which serves as um, in the lower level as cafeteria and um, in the upper floor uh, we um, put uh, two atriums um, and they zone this um, communication and circulation space. Um, so this is a plan and these areas in between these communication places um, they um, serve for the participants as well as for the teachers um, and can be used for individual teaching and um, learning. Um, the ceiling elements 3 meter 20 times 6 meter 40 are easy to transport and can be prefabricated at the carpenter. Here you see the mounting of this uh, wood um, panels um, on the slats. Um, due to the prefabrication of the ceiling and the wall elements, the mounting could be finished in um, approximately three weeks. And uh, you see that four ceiling elements. They uh, one, two, three, four. They are put together um, on a wooden pillar, 24 times 24 centimeters, and together uh, you get an orthogonal structure ca characterized by this very fine um, rib structure. 
for young people with uh, different disabilities. Um, the time in this assessment center is important since here um, directions um, are taken for their further life paths. Um, so that's why it's necessary to create an inspiring and motivating architectural environment for the time of their internship and uh, applicant training and their diagnostics. Inspiring and motivating uh, both to the exterior experience but um, as well as um, uh, for the quality of stay inside instead of a dark corridor inside or empty corridor uh, we um, created these um, um, these um, uh, communication zones that uh, are open for um, educational uses um, so uh, and communication in between the um, participants and the teachers and the corner exposures of each of the classrooms um, which are arranged in a ring form um, around these atriums enables multi-sided exposures throughout the day um, so we hope or intended that this multi-dimensionality support the young people um, to open their eyes to the world um, and these plywood walls are cladded in the rooms with uh, perforated panels for acoustic absorption and the vertical access takes place by light steel stairs um, and again the outside um, on all sides no front or back um, so we got this desired attra attractive vitality an inviting open house that uh, hides nothing number four I want it all and I want it now everything is possible everything you can build everything but originality the desperate search for a gimmick the search uh, for a new architectural language exhausted in formal freedom uh, this doesn't interest me or doesn't interest us it um, I'm, I'm bored of that so um, uh, I had been fascinated by by uh, Henry David Thoreau and you said uh, I, I studied at Harvard so um, of course studying there you have to deal with uh, Thoreau and uh, what what of our all architectural beauty I now see I know has gradually grown within, from within outside, out of the necessities and character of the indweller, out of unconsciousness, toothfulness and nobleness, without ever a thought for the appearance and whatever additional beauty of this kind to be produced, but only out of the beauty of life. So. Um, um, and uh, Toro moved uh, to the Sloney Forest of Massachusetts to the Walden Pond um, and lived a, um, a self-determined life, very simple, uh, in harmony with uh, nature. And um, so this fascinated us, the, uh, so the beauty of life and uh, not the search for the, the uh, original appearance. Um, and we had been um, also very fascinated by this um, small uh, wooden house um, Walter Gropius uh, built for his home, like a small acropolis on the top of a slightly hilly landscape um, out of Boston and in, in New England. So simple and yet so diverse at the same time um, because simplicity and um, beauty are not um, mutually exclusive. So we, we looked for this simplicity by working on um, this project. Um, I, will, I want to show you. It's a, a project for disabled children. In the, they live in the Rheingau, so at Wiesbaden, uh, north of, uh, or west of Frankfurt, um, so, which is the fourth project I want to show you, to you tonight. Um, and we developed um, uh, three houses the, which are arranged around uh, common um, courtyard um, and nine children live together um, 
in each of uh, these T-shaped houses uh, with the rooms outside looking into the park um, or in, into this nice landscape. Um, and uh, with a uh, eating and living area always uh, located and looking into the courtyard. Um, and um, we, um, in our search to avoid any hospital-like atmosphere, as it is common in these institutions, um, we developed a pavilion-like structure um, with the interior which opens into this landscape allowing the outside to become part of the inside and um, the inside profits of the beauty of the landscape so you don't have to do a lot it's, it's the beauty of the landscape and the beauty of, of weather and um, um, uh, the different um, months um, which characterize the inside. The simple plan is translated into uh, also very simple structure with wooden frame walls and a beam ceiling uh, with sh uh, short spans and um, the cantilevering um, um, roof expands here. Uh, here the common li living dining area um, and this uh, expanding roof creates an interesting room, an interesting room in between, um, a, th a threshold in between public and private, belonging to the, ho the, to the home uh, and to the court at the same time. And uh, this courtyard is uh, nowadays uh, widely used. So, um, cities like um, Munich, Vienna and um, Helsinki, Helsinki decided that by um, 2025 at least 30% of new buildings have to be executed in wood and in Tübingen, which is uh, south of Stuttgart. It is discussed that uh, wood uh, construction are obligative uh, from 2013. That's not too far away. Um, so. Um, First of all, is there enough wood in Germany to build all these buildings in wood? Um, so don't worry. Uh, if you look down here, we have um, 122 million cubic meters um, uh, which are produced and we use only uh, 76 um, uh, million cubic meters um, in, in a year. And by the way, what is interesting, we have 32% of, of Germany is, um, is uh, used as forest and there are more people working in the uh, wood and f um, forest industry than um, they are working in the uh, car industry. Um, that's why we continue to work on a project in uh, timber constructions um, um, like here a medical care center um, despite the unity of the very uh, repetitive uh, elements with the, um, the we have a high vari variety and uh, diverse um, character um, so this is the overall model and the overall plan and um, to the outside, but also to the inside. The outside is reacting uh, in its scale to the housing and area surrounding, and inside we have somehow an interior street, um, uh, and uh, on this interior street we have kind of arms with the different um, 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 rooms um, forming these courtyards, um, and this. Um, in the structure again, uh, we, did develop, we developed an element that is a static and acoustic element too. It's this time it's 3 meter 60 times 10 meter 30 um, hollow body, um, and, um, and the ceilings are uh, supported um, um, by columns and uh, with uh, st stiffening plywood uh, walls. Um, two-story high, uh, allowing different um, um, changing uses um, with a sloping roof, um, illuminating um, um, the middle of the rooms um, through the offset of the ceiling. 
And another project, um, uh, seven houses we built in, uh, again in the Rheingau area, uh, which are arranged um, uh, around a center um, um, with the idea that here students, um, disabled and senior live together and with wonderful uh, views uh, into the vineyards. Um, last year we won a, a big competition for um, two, uh, two schools and a, gym in, uh, a gymnasium, um, a, a sport area, two schools here and here um, in Regensburg. In our search for new typologies for learning, uh, we created um, pedagogical usable zones um, around these uh, interior um, or around these, these courts uh, and atriums, um, which can be used um, to uh, teach individual um, uh, different students um, and um, the supporting structure uh, determines uh, determine the appearance to the outside with a dense grid so that uh, varied and uh, changing uses are possible and the load bearing uh, structure is put on to the outside so this is the structure these are the beams um, it's put to the outside um, which is technically useful to avoid uh, the overheating um, and um, the plasticity um, gives a certain scale to the outside um, and we also won the competition for a residential project in Regensburg with the central courtyard um, where the, all the, these apartments are um, phase two. So um, looking abroad, I'm, I'm convinced um, that um, there are no limits, no typology which can't be built in wood. Um, here a study we, we did uh, at uh, the Technical University with my institute um, and we, we uh, look it's a study for a concert hall in Tübingen and um, we developed a um, construction um, for a concert hall uh, which is in fact um, very close to a, um, a street and here are big buses uh, running uh, along and uh, um, construction is out of a double wall, plywood wall, filled up um, with uh, sand in the middle and you get um, well, at least that what um, you somehow uh, we, we think we can get um, all this what, what you need uh, for the acoustic of a concert hall. So even if it's technical uh, possible we uh, shouldn't uh, limit um, um, ourselves um, because of course the own, the answer shouldn't be exclusively timber so I'm, I'm really like to build my wood but of course you have projects where you also have or you want to use um, other materials in this respect at the very end I will show some few slides um, of two other projects. Um, um, first of all, the theater, Nikolaus mentioned already a theater extension um, uh, in Heidelberg, confident and at the same time sensitive. Um, it just looks here in between these old buildings, landmarks building without an exaggerating gesture um, um, and um, forms the new entrance to the uh, this theater and this is um, a view from the uh, uh, the side street um, and um, this new building nestles uh, like a passepartout uh, between the old buildings and gives them a background to enhance their beauty and um, um, depending on the perspective it is closed and opened at the same time and gives insight in what is happening in the, in the, uh, behind uh, the stage and this new auditorium is therefore not uh, just a black box um, uh, but um, it uh, stimulates when you enter the, um, um, the room and we develop um, this uh, wall which is an um, 
out of the acoustic needs we develop uh, the wall surface which uh, reflects as best as possible what is said or is sung um, on this um, on the theater and in fact the theater is um, is uh, opera and uh, speech theater at, at, at the same time so you can uh, change this portal so you can move it back and then you have the orchestra and you have uh, the bigger volume which you need uh, for um, opera. And since 2011 uh, we have been working um, on this tragedy on uh, March the, the 3rd, 2009. Um, the um, collapse of the uh, historical archive um, in um, Cologne uh, for many uh, terrible and traumatic cut in their life uh, with pain and loss uh, with and with irreparable um, cultural um, property was um, lost at that time. Uh, so um, the replacement um, takes um, part not at the same place because here um, they still uh, look um, to um, uh, the, to find the evidence. Um, uh, so it's. Um, this will be carried out probably the next uh, years and um, uh, we developed um, out of the multitude of requirements um, um, uh, we, we kind of shortened the, these requirements to the um, uh, antagonism of the function protection and um, openness so and for, out of this antagonism we developed the plan and the idea of the uh, house uh, treasure house in the middle for all the archives um, and a surrounding an open ring for the workshops and uh, offices uh, with the public head here for the um, reading rooms and exhibition areas. Um, here the uh, view from the entrance to the um, reading room in the, in the upper floors and the um, uh, exhibition space uh, down and here uh, from the uh, view in one of the courtyards um, to the treasury houses and um, here part of the 50 kilometers of shelves um, and um, this is um, a picture uh, um, of the entrance hall um, which leads up here to the reading room and on the left hand uh, the exhibition uh, area so a gallery combining the two rooms and um, you come into the house and you somehow look on this, to this uh, treasury house and um, um, get a very easy um, um, uh, orientation. So um, I started um, with a portrait of Betty and um, I want to end with another portrait. Uh, so that's not Betty, um, that's Louis Sullivan um, as you are your buildings are, so the American architect. So um, not the implicit knowledge, but um, consciously or unconsciously, the way we are, what we have uh, um, seen, what we have experienced is guiding um, our architectural thinking. Um, architectural design is first intuition and emotional action than cognitive problem solving. In contrary to natural sciences where the individual individuality of the author is bent from the results by generalizations, the architectural knowledge, the personality of the designer remains always visible in the synthesis of implicit knowledge, creativity, and intuitive decisions. So the projects I presented are not just a re review on wood constructions, but a very personal look um, who we are. So thanks for your attention. Here is exactly what really 
um, has in our mind um, designed for Nantes Boom and uh, you actually gave us a lot of input. And uh, what, what, what I, um, well, what everybody here experiences, of course, that working with wood always needs a macro and micro structure. You, you always, even in the, in the first design, you, you, you work with a macro structure, which then um, is given into micro structure. And that gives, of course, um, a lot of details. And, um, and I also like very much the simplicity of materials and I think that is also a big advantage of the wooden buildings that these materials really last very long and, and get interesting every year and year in contrast to many other concrete buildings. So here we can learn a lot. Um, yeah, are there any questions? My question maybe to start with is when we met Florian Wagner uh, in, uh, in, in, in Landesburg, he told us that uh, he also studied old wooden farmhouses and he learned that sometimes 15 or 17 different wood materials um, are uh, used for building one house. Uh, when I see your building, especially number one and two, I have the feeling that there are at least not more than two. Uh, so how, how do you work with, um, how do you choose these? Because I had the feeling that the interior, the, the wood, was a little bit also treated, or is that only my impression? So maybe you can give us some, some details of how, why do these buildings look so comfortable, so nice, so smooth? Uh, in, in fact, um, we, we try to. Uh, it's, it's of, of course, it's, it's correct what uh, Florian told you. Um, normally, in these old buildings, you have a huge different uh, wood you, you use. Um, oh, I try to go back there, but I don't. Re I don't get there. Okay. Um, um, normally, you have uh, there are different woods because uh, you you use very intelligent. You use. Um, the um, softer wood uh, for uh, the larger um, spans perhaps and hard wood where you somehow uh, you walk or whatever so um, and nowadays the the building uh, industry is more or less um, uh, f focused on using um, what we call Nadelholz, uh, so probably, um, um, what is Nadelholz in, in English? I don't know. Um, so, um, pine, pine wood? Yeah. Could be. Um, um, but we somehow, we, uh, th there are new developments, um, what we call Buchenholz, uh, and um, I, I, in fact, I, I work um, on a study, um, on a study project, um, where we also develop Buchen uh, Verbunddecke, uh, so which is not um, um, certificate nowadays. Um, but but we, uh, we, we it's right what he told you. But we somehow we we try to reduce it to one wood, and we we um, we oiled the wood in in this surface, uh, oiled or soaked the wood. So because the wood kind of gets um, very yellow and dark and that's why we somehow uh, we, we, we put soap on the, onto it or, or some white oil. Thank you. Alright, there are any questions? Maybe we deepen these questions. I have one question. Yes. Uh, what's your decision to make uh, some of the project rather small scales and small unities? Defined by using wood, or because you wanted to use wood? No, uh, defined by by the project itself. Um, so um, um, I, I showed you a project for people with uh, cognitive or disabilities, mm -hmm. and for them it's important somehow to find the right scale, right scale, and not to have this huge huge scale of the building. But it's uh, easier. If the, if you uh, reduce the scale of the building, so that's why it's uh, used to be, or why we we looked for smaller dimensions, and um, also this this Bonn project, 
we thought for this learning scape it's, it's better to have a, a more um, condensed atmosphere and so more this little shell and then this big huge room so it's it's an idea out of um, out of the use of the buildings but in the last school building what i showed you we have there we, there we have big rooms and it will be another um, idea of, 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 of space yeah. yeah, I'm so glad that we chose this theme because, as you said, that even politically, wood is a material which maybe in future will be a part of your reality. That 30 percent of all constructions maybe will be in wood in the next uh, five or ten years. So that is something very yeah to remember. I, I know from from our clients who now want to build in wood is. Of course, the atmosphere, the, the quality, the details, but they also, of course, have um, discovered the advantage of time, re re rejecting time. That you said that in three weeks you could build up a building, that uh, you don't have much humidity in the building. So once you have built um, the main construction, there's no humidity inside, so you can start directly with the interior. That is also something very important. Normally, you have to wait a, a long time, months, after concrete gets dry to start with interior. And uh, of course, the third is um, the ecological part that, that there is enough wood. So, yeah, we have to think and uh, looking around the world here in the Hafen City today now, yeah, Firma is trying a high rise building wood. And, um, and I know also that the Japanese and the Chinese now they rediscover their tradition of joining, trying not to use any metal joints only in wood. So I think we start a new uh, chapter of um, architecture. So, so I, in, in one one other point, it's it's it's, it's faster to build, yes. but it's also the, the pre, uh, it's more precise. So you have an. Uh, completely different quality um, somehow you have kind of a built furniture uh, because it's um, it fits it's on, on, on millimeter or half centimeter so it's yeah, it's a different quality you get um, instead of the uh, classical uh, concrete construction good so thanks again Felix and let's meet at the bar